The first thing you need to do is open Adobe Photoshop and create a new file. In my case, I created a 1920 by 1080 document. Now place a colored rectangle as a background. As a separate layer, place a PNG image of what you'll be animating. Now for this example, I'm going to animate this bird character because the position of its wings allow it to be easily animated using Puppet Warp. It's important that the background color is different than the object or character you're animating. Now lock the background layer and convert the PNG into a smart object. Select the image you want to animate and duplicate it using Ctrl J. Select the image, click Edit, and then Puppet Warp. Now you will be able to place pins upon the image. These pins will allow you to move and manipulate parts of the image as if it were a puppet. Keep creating copies of the image and move it little by little each time until you have a good amount for an animation. Now click Window and then Timeline. After that, click Create Frame Animation. Click on this symbol to open a menu and then select Make Frames from Layers. With the first animation frame selected, go to the layers and activate the visibility of the colored rectangle so that it may be made visible on all frames. If you have a few frames that are empty, go and delete them. Now select the second to last frame and in the same menu from before, click Copy Frame. Select the final frame and then click Paste Frame. Do the same with the other frames going in reverse except for with the first frame. This is done to make the animation loop in a smoother way. Now to make the bird appear like it's blinking, click a frame or two in between and make the needed modifications. Make sure the corresponding layer is selected also when doing this. Select every frame and keep making copies until there are enough frames to make a long enough video. Now click File, Export, and then Render Video. Once the video has been rendered, place it into Premiere Pro. Add a background behind the animation and then apply the Ultra Key effect to remove the colored rectangle. Now adjust the speed and add effects to your liking.